Hello and welcome to the Tarkus Zone. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be discussing this game, Farah, the Th Sundered Tribes. It looks like it's going to be a fun game. I'm really looking forward to this game. It just hit my radar like two days ago. I saw the first video on this game. I saw a development, a developer video on this game. I posted those in my YouTube, on my YouTube channel, the actual trailer, which we can see here on the Steam platform. Let me just get that started here. This is the, uh, the game trailer here. We can watch it while I speak. Just maximize it. So on my YouTube channel, I also have a copy of this. Plus, I have a copy of the developer talking about the game. Maybe it's like a two-minute video. You can check that out. I'll put a link in the comments below to that. With this game, it's got a few things that I really like in games. The city-building part, the survival part, and the monster-hunting part. I, I really enjoy Monster Hunter games. I used to play a game called Dauntless. It was free to play on the Epic Store. I really enjoyed that game. This game comes off to me as a uh, type of monster, it is a Monster Hunter type of game with a unique um, combat style. Watch when this uh, character here, see, you can whip around like Tarzan, you know, and grapple items and grapple onto the monster to attack while you're grappled onto the monster. And it's got the uh, city building part where you can enhance your city and you can have these NPCs in the game do things for you. Now, it's a co-op game. Uh, we're going to look at the Discord discussions in a minute to see uh, if they've answered the question of what the co-op is. Is it a dedicated server? Is it peer-to-peer? -peer? Are they hosting servers? It looks like it's going to be a great time. Now, let's just uh, minimize this screen here. Okay. Uh, let me just read. It's a uh, thrilling mixture of monster hunting survival action RPG with village building and tribe management. In a unique post-apocalyptic uh, world of untamed magic and ancient secrets. So it looks like it, uh, it's going to have some lore to it, but the building, city building part of it looks really amazing. If you watch that developer's log video, it, that developer goes over it and how that works. But the whole being able to zip around and grapple things, and, you know, like almost Spider-Man. Boop, 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 Spider-Man and, and then flying in, you know, disengaging the you know, the web and, and attacking on your way down, like you can see in this picture here. I just was scrolling down to see if they had a Discord. They probably do. It's incoming soon. I'm really looking forward to this. So let's just go to the Community Hub. All right. Discussions. All right, so they don't have really much going on on their Discussions page. They've only got 11 topics going on in the general discussion. Let's look at the pinned top here. Welcome to the Farah. Here's the teaser trailer, which we were seeing on the page. I also have a copy on my YouTube. It says wishlist uh, here, so I'll just wishlist it because I do want it to come up in my wishlist. We're going to go back one here. Okay, story, controllers, characterization, customization. So the person's asking about that. The monsters are actually invasive species that are a bio byproduct of an apocalyptic event that happened far in the past. The game will support keyboard and mouse as well as controller. Player characters will be customizable. We'll show this customization system as well as player progression once we get a bit further into development. All right. Steam Deck, uh, translate, that's probably translate, Steam Deck, uh, probably this, okay, they didn't answer, I should have looked to see if there was actually a reply, G, G O G, okay, is a G O G release planned for the futures, I prefer to purchase there instead, um, also loved your previous game on G O G, yeah, I think we will be on G O G as well, not sure the timing, okay, all right. Add polished language, please. Look quite ambitious. How interesting. AI adding. Okay. Okay. I'm more interested in, in that because this is the AI building part of the, the city building part of the game. Where, okay, it will be like, uh, I don't know that game. 
Unintended to land. Okay, let's just see what the developer says. Okay, we are heavily focused on making sure the village building and tribal management aspect of uh, Farah is a full featured and interesting as we can possibly make it. In Farah, you are the leader of your village and such. They need you as much as you need them. That is to say that they will have their own needs and personalities and will and happily ask you to build them bigger homes so that they can uh, decorate them themselves. So it's going to be like an AI system where these things are going to kind of do their own things in their own lives, but they're going to need you as a ruler to give them the add-ups or give them permission to do something. Um, in terms of construction, you'll do... Uh, you'll be doing the village layout planning, and the villagers will be the ones doing the actual building. So you'll lay out the city. Like, a villager's not going to go over and start building something that willy-nilly. It Basically, you provide the structures, and if they're living in a, 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 a hut or a clay little building, and they're like, well, geez, I think I need a second story or an add-up, then you can, you can bump up their house. With, then the village will build that house, and, that, and then that villager has a better housing. Okay, so, however, as villagers progress, they will have different needs. That's common to survival games. For example, if they decide to start a family and have children, then you'll need to build a nursery and a school for them. We really want to dive deep into the sim part of the management of the village and the monster hunting aspect of Fera. Uh, as primarily we provide you for your tribe as well as to make the world a safer place for them. Okay, so I, what I get out of that is I kind of butchered that up a little bit because I, uh, I was reading over... Oh, I have a tendency to read over words, so I've already combined... I read fast, basically. So sometimes i got to slow myself down to actually physically get the words out of my mouth. But what I get out of that is they'll have needs. They'll tell you what their needs are. You try to do their needs. You give them permission to have children. You try to do what you need you know, to keep their, their livelihood happy. Uh, and it's a college... It's a, it's a colony uh, sim, basically, is what it, it re relates to. And then you go out and do the monster hunting aspect of the game, and bring the the you can bring the monsters back, and then you put them in a a slaughterhouse or a mechanism where your villagers will actually take pieces of the monster you killed and utilize that for the village. You know, so that's pretty cool too. That there's there's a way to break down the mo you know, and have the villagers harvest the monsters you go out and kill. All right, there is nothing here about the co-op part of it. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking maybe it's going to be peer-to-peer. -peer. I won't be happy with peer-to-peer. -peer. I'm just seeing if anybody... No, this is all just a discussion. I don't really, really like peer-to-peer -peer games. I, I really don't put my money into those. So I'm hoping that this comes back as uh, more of a server kit where we host our own server or the they have instant servers where... Uh, where you can be in your own instance on their own plat on their platform, but it's definitely they're saying that it is a single player online co-op. So a lot of times that indicates peer to peer. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but I'm looking forward to it. I mean, that's why I'm doing this video today. Is it looks like it's going to be a really fun time. All right. Well, thank you for joining me, and this has been the Tarkus Zone.